and we are celebrating a National Weather Person's Day today. Yes, Marty, he is not out somewhere about town. He is right here in the First Alert Weather Center with Tim Williams. You two are holding it down over there. Hello, you guys. Well, hello again. Hold on. Hello, everyone. How are you over there? It's kind of weird being in the studio. I've changed positions with Tim because Tim is actually putting the weather presentation. We do a WJZ at 9. Together, there's the walk the dog forecast. Yep. And we're being joined right now by meteorologist, chief meteorologist Derek Beasley from La Casa Beasley out in Howard County. Good morning, chief. How are you, buddy? Doing great. How are you guys doing? Man, we're doing real good. I've got to show a toy real quick. The desk, this is, this is the coolest thing when we do tours. This desk lowers and it raises depending upon the height of the weather presenter behind it. Now, Beasley's like 7'3". <laughs> <laughs> so he raises it all the way up. I'm the shortest of all, and, and I, not only do I lower it, I stand on a box. <laughs> Derek, how are you this morning? It's a, uh, doing great. How are you guys doing? You guys got a lot of energy this morning, more than what I have. <laughs> it's called caffeine. I'm going to turn you on to it one day. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, listen, let's talk the nuts and bolts of the First Alert Weather Center, because we're having fun showing the toys, but this is a real deal. Talk about it. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we just upgraded to uh, that new weather system that we have there. Of course, with all those monitors, we can look at many different things. Um, we've got, uh, of course, our main graphic system that we use uh, on air. Uh, that's what we use to kind of present the complicated science that goes into meteorology. We're able to kind of simplify it and put that into graphic form so that we can give you guys an, a forecast that you can understand, that you can plan your day with. And we also have other little programs that we've installed on there that help us actually go into the details of uh, bringing you that forecast. So uh, lots of bells and whistles there uh, to try to give you the most accurate forecast. We have 30 seconds left, Derek. We want to thank you for joining us. Not only do we have the center that we've been showing and Tim's working at, but we also have to its immediate right an identical workstation that can go on the air or that we can use Let's, let's say in severe weather, Tim can be working there, Derek can be working here, I can be out in the field. So we have a multi-level approach to putting the weather together for you. Don't, don't get me wrong, we have a lot of fun doing this. Tim, come on over here real quick. We have a lot of fun doing this, but this is real serious and we take it real serious. Yeah, and what you see and don't see is that all of our monitors are dedicated to a different system. So the one behind us is our Max One, our one system. The one behind this over here is our active radar, and the one over here is two. Which one has Netflix? <laughs> I think that's this one. Okay. Well, we, so listen, we've got to cut. Real quick, coming up next half hour, K2 and I are taking you to the Mobile Weather Lab. We'll be joined by meteorologist Steve Sosna. We're going to show you all the toys sitting out in the driveway. Back over to you. We'll take it. Thanks, guys. <laughs>